Good morning, friends, and welcome to the pre-market view. U.S. markets were weak uh, even yesterday. Uh, for second day uh, in a row, we have seen some weakness in the U.S. markets. Uh, Dow was actually marginally down, and Nasdaq was down about 0.43 percent. Importantly, there was a statement coming out from the current Fed chairman, Ben Bernanke, that U.S. Federal Reserve would continue with its accommodative and easy monetary policy for as long as it is required until there is a stability in the job market. Uh, and the interest rates would also remain at a lower level, at least in the short run. But it did not have any major impact on the markets. Uh, and European markets were also down about uh, 0.4 to almost about 1.77%. Some of the data points that came out from Germany about consumer confidence were better, but it did not have any material impact on the markets. And when we look at the Asian markets today morning, Japan is marginally down to about 0.15%. There, the trade deficit has actually widened and the yen has actually come down to almost about 100.20 uh, odd levels. Uh, and uh, Hang Seng is marginally up about 0.3%. And when we look at the SGX Nifty, it's suggesting that we are going to have a soft start and it's down about 15 to 20 odd points. So in terms of flows, friends, FIs were net bias in the cash market to the tune of 1,020 crore. And we've seen this uh, cash market figure from the FI is actually increasing over the past about three to four trading sessions. Uh, because of the better uh, flows into ETF. Uh, so that is what is helping uh, these flows. The domestic institutions are sellers to the tune of about 725 odd crore. And in the index futures, we have seen the buying to the tune of about 75 odd crore. No major impact there. The markets uh, overall have uh, remained quite resilient. And we had seen a good amount of activity in stocks like uh, Maruti, United Spirits, uh, and some of the mid-cap names. Uh, even banking names like HDFC Bank and Axis Bank are holding out pretty well. But uh, that is only a selective strength. The market participation or the breadth of the market has not been that great, which is definitely not a great news. Uh, on that note, let me invite Shaival to take us through important f &O queues and ideas that we could have from the f &O side. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view at derivatives. Friends, from last few days, we have seen that the markets have been bouncing very sharply from the lower levels and due to which we have finally seen that the Nifty again has able to surpass the mark of 6,200. Now, from last two days, we have been seeing that long positions have been accumulated in the market by participants with every rise in the market. And also, we have seen that the PCR ratio has seen an uptick from mark of 1.01 to 1.03 as we have seen a minimal amount of addition taking place on the call site in open interest whereas a good amount of activity or say some additions have taken place across the put strikes which is clearly visible from the options matrix. Now 6,300 and 500 are the call option strikes which have seen and uh, which have seen some small amount of addition taking place whereas 6400 call option has underwent some reduction. But if we have, if we have a look on the put side right from the strike of 6000 till 6500 put option we have seen continuous addition taking play in yesterday's trade now as a bias for the market is positive we are trading about vwap a bias uh, what we suggest is any dip in the market can be taken as an opportunity to accumulate long positions and from intraday perspective friends mcdowell is looking positive so one can maintain a stop loss of 2456.50 pesa thank you here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, there is going to be a crucial meeting of the EGOM on the telecom uh, headed by the Finance Minister P. Jidambaram. And uh, that there, there is going to be a decision on the auction of the 800 megahertz of band, which has been awaited for a long time by the markets. Private sector sugar mill in UP have served a notice uh, of suspending the mill operations because of the lack of uh, state advised pricing and uh, the fact that because of the uh, higher cane prices, the operations have become unviable. So there could be some turbulence in the UP-based uh, sugar companies like Balram Puccini, Bajaj, Hindustan and others. Uh, so watch out for some uh, volatility in those uh, stocks, uh, at least uh, for today in the morning session. And Future Group is negotiating with her private equity firm Actis Capital to buy Nilgiris, which is a Bangalore-based supermarket chain uh, in which Actis has a controlling stake. Wholesome may have uh, been able to convince some of the uh, FII uh, investors to go ahead with the restructuring exercise which is underway. Only some of the domestic uh, institutions like GIC, LIC are opposing the deal. But looking at the current uh, uh, information, uh, it looks like that this deal would go through. 
The open offer for Texmeco Rail and Engineering uh, for Kalindi Rail Nirman is likely to commence from uh, November 20th and uh, this open offer is revised at a price of 71 rupees and uh, earlier price was about 68. Power Grid is likely to have a open offer on December 3rd which includes the fresh issue of 60.1 crore shares as well as the divestment of 18.5 crore shares by the government. Diageo, which is the world's largest uh, distiller, has indicated that it might want to exit some of the non-profit making brands of United Spirits. Uh, and we've also heard some positive news on the uh, entire exercise which has been undertaken by Diageo to actually do the restructuring of their India operations. So what are for some positive action in the United Spirits stock in today's market? Coming to the stock specific ideas, Bharti Airtel, there are indications that uh, the tower business in Africa which has about 15,000 towers, uh, they have received the expression of interest from a few major investors like uh, Helios, uh, ATC, IHS and Etron. So uh, one can go long on Bharti with a stop loss of 345 and a uh, target of about 363 to about 369. Bale has received an order of about 1300 crore from NTPC for supplying equipment to the electricity generators uh, Unchar plant. So one can go long on Bale with a stop loss of 139 and a target of about uh, 146 to 149. And UB holding some negative news as the Karnataka High Court has admitted UB holdings winding up plea. In a setback to UB uh, Limited, the Karnataka High Court has found uh, a prima facie case to admit a plea by BNB Paribas which is seeking winding up of UBHL. So one can short that with a stoppage of 28.50 and a target of about 26.5. That's it from all of us friends. Have a good trading session and see you tomorrow at the same time.